Well, hello, Shoreline Church. This is your devotional for April 6th. We're continuing on the book of James in the third chapter, and we're looking particularly for the next four weeks, for this whole month of April, at the topic of wisdom. And James has a lot to say about wisdom throughout the book, but this part really leans into some aspects, and particularly that there's wisdom from above and wisdom from below. Wisdom from heaven, wisdom from the world, or even kind of hellish wisdom. Wisdom from God and wisdom from the enemy. And so I'm inviting you to pray over this month, Lord, make me wise, grow wisdom in me. And so today we're just looking at one verse. Uh, It's James 3.13. And it begins with a question. Who is wise and understanding among you? And before you raise your hand and say, that's God, that sounds like me, just listen and see what God has to say to you. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in humilities, in humility that comes from wisdom. And so there's this sense that, that wisdom leads to a good life. Wisdom's not just some, some theoretical, you know, musing and pondering of thoughts in my mind. And oh, that person's very wise. They have, they have unique insight. But wisdom transforms. True wisdom change your, changes your life. So the question, who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life. And then this, by deeds done in humility that comes from wisdom. A life of action that honors God But true wisdom leads not to arrogance, but to humility. If somebody says, oh, I'm wise, I'm like the wisest person around, they're probably not that wise. Wisdom leads to humility. So here's my encouragement to you today and in this coming month. Will you say, Lord, grow me in wisdom that leads me to action and a humble life. Jesus, this is our prayer. That we would walk and live in wisdom. That as we grow to think like you think and believe as you call us to believe, that it will transform our lives and our lives will, will echo out and show your presence and that our hearts will be humble along the way. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on you. We invite you to join us for worship at Shoreline Church. If you're part of another congregation, be part of your church online, in person if possible. But God bless you as you live out the rest of this week.